Hello everyone, I'm Nine Flame, and I'm going to be answering some questions that a lot of people had about my Oriana cosplay. This first video is going to be all about the skirt. First thing about this that I had a lot of questions about is how do I make it hover and not touch my waist? The answer is that the contact point is further here inside the skirt. It contacts around my hips. Now, to start things off, what I did was I made something like this out of just regular Eva foam. Now that I've had this base, I needed to get something that extended outwards, like a platform that I could build on. So I used the thicker Eva foam because out of the two types here, one is a lot more rigid than the other. So we want to use this one. And I drew a circle around myself using this, so that way it stuck out at an angle. A problem with this is that when we measure here, you'll notice that the front is a lot flatter than the back. So we couldn't just do equal parts all the way around in a circle because then the front part of the skirt would be a lot closer to your stomach and the back part of the skirt would be way out here. So I offset that. As soon as that was made and laid out, I made the changes to accommodate it and we've got this platform. I cut out ones like this and I built them like little support structures all the way around the skirt. This was what was going to be holding up the full plating of the skirt itself. Now, everything is made out of this Eva foam. I attached it to the support beams and I put it all the way around me. This gave me something that I could build off of. And looking at the art, I cut out different squares and rectangles and placed it according to where it should go. These little squares and rectangles all fitting in place is what makes up the bulk of the skirt. Because we made the contact point lower on our body with the tabletop part coming out, the contact point of our hips is around here. Now, that leaves some extra space inside the skirt. So if I turn the lights on, you can see that there's still that platform that I originally made. And it's excellent for storing things like the battery pack, your phone, your wallet, all those things you wish you could carry on you in cosplay, but your cosplay just won't accommodate it. As for keeping this on my body, I decided to use a belt. I've attached straps inside the skirt that you're going to see. They go along here where this belt is. This belt I do up super tight and it goes around the lower hips. So this way you don't see it up high on you when you're wearing the cosplay because you want to give the illusion that the skirt is hovering. These straps are hooked in, not to the front part here, but they're hooked in at the edge of the initial tabletop, which is where this part is attached. If I were to attach it here on this inside part, the foam would slowly bend upwards and the skirt would slowly slip downwards. In fact, it did that a little bit even as I was working on it. After I covered the skirt in warbler, I decided to use liquid fiberglass instead of gesso or wood glue as a sealer. I'll go over the liquid fiberglass method in a different video, but this is what gave it that shiny smooth look that you don't normally get with Warbler unless you really fight with it, because Warbler has that bumpy texture after all. The inside parts here, I did not cover in Warbler because the foam that I used, and this is the only time that I used this type of foam, was on these inside parts here. It was already pretty flat, so I felt like it didn't need the Warbler to like even it out or anything. However, for strength, I did cover it in the fiberglass because the fiberglass makes everything super rigid. You'll notice that the skirt doesn't open up at all. It's simply slide on, slide off. So that's my Oriana skirt. I hope that this video answered a lot of the questions that many of you had. And thank you very much for watching.